is Michelle with Pink and Main, and today I'm excited to create some cards with our June 2020 Crafty Courtyard Kit. The theme is Ocean Waves, and you can see the colors of the enamel dots here. We've got some beautiful beachy pastel tones, and I'm super excited to jump right in. So let's get going. So the, for the first card, I thought I'd try a slimline card. These have recently been trending and really popular, and I have never made one before. So I looked up measurements and, and things like that, and I think overall in general, the basic dimension of a slimline card when you fold it is gonna be eight and a half long by three and a half wide. And that will fit in any business size or they call it number nine or number 10 envelope. Um, there's just some, a couple of different things you could use, um, but that's basically it. So unfolded, if you take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, you're just gonna cut that at seven inches so that it's eight and a half wide, just like the sheet of paper, but you're gonna make it seven inches that way. That way, when you fold it, you get your three and a half by eight and a half. So I already have some of my layering pieces cut. I've done this really pretty pink cardstock at eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. So that's going to be a layering piece there. I've taken six by six paper pad, and I wanted to show that you can actually use your six by six paper pads on these longer slimline cards. Even though it's not gonna give you the eight and a half inches, there are definitely some things you can do to use up these beautiful pattern papers on these longer cards. So I have cut some shorter peaches, pieces with this tan polka dot, and I'm gonna layer them at the ends like that. So you've got this really nice wave and then you're bordered with the tan polka dots. And as I always mention in my card making videos for these kits, I always use the postcard because I try to make the postcard something useful. I don't want it to be a throwaway piece that you just toss away. I want to make it something that you can use so that every part of the kit is usable in some way. So not only does it have all the information about the kit on the back, but once you've read that information, you can use the front in your card making or other projects. So what I've done is out of the postcard, I have fussy cut this circle that has this really adorable octopus in it. And I just kind of cut around the flowers there. And since it went off the postcard, it already has this straight line cut off the circle right here. And I had to cut a little, little bump out of it because this circle went over it on the postcard, but that's okay. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move it over a little bit, cover up that little cutout so you never know it was there. We're gonna layer these two circles and put them in the middle, and you've got this adorable card with this cute octopus here and the, uh, the sentiment that says, you've been occupying my mind. So let's start to put this together. Now that I have my layering pieces down, I'm gonna take some of the glitter tape that's in the kit, and I'm just gonna border where the tan polka dot meets the wave. You just want something to border that so it's not left like an unfinished edge. I don't, I don't like to leave unfinished edges. And this is actually glitter tape so there's a clear film behind it that you peel away and it's it's self-adhesive and it's not a washi tape it has a good it has a good strong tacky adhesive on the back i like that
So there, now we have the basis of our card. And I've got these really pretty glittery strips on there. Let's add our octopus and the sentiment. And just as a last little embellishment, I believe I will add some of our enamel dots. And there's our first card. I think it came out super cute. Our very first slimline card. Oh, I like that. I think we'll need to make some more of those. For our next card, we'll just do basic four and a quarter by five and a half, A2 size card. And for this one, I wanted to do a card to show you that even though the kit is ocean wave theme, that you could definitely make just a typical thinking of you card that has nothing to do with the beach or the ocean or anything like that. Just a plain thinking of you note card and be really pretty in these colors. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of the striped pattern paper and a little strip of this lime green that I'm gonna add down here. So we're just gonna have that be the front of our note card. So let's adhere these down. So there's the front of our note card. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I have cut the thinking of you die as well as the shadow feature. I cut the shadow in that really pretty teal sparkle sheet that you get, the glitter card stock in, that comes in the kit. And then I cut the thinking of you out of just some of the white card stock in the kit. And this is a super, thin, delicate die cut. I think it's beautiful because it looks like handwriting. It's thin and delicate and just really pretty. And you, one suggestion I might say is if you have some adhesive sheets that you can die cut, is that you layer that on the back of your paper that you're gonna cut this out of. That way when you go to adhere it down, you have it, the adhesive on the back already because it is super thin. Other than that, I'm gonna use this Barely Art Precision Craft Glue, and it's got this really fine tip on it that's gonna do just perfect for these really thin lettering. Also, as you're placing this down on the shadow feature, you may have to move the lettering ever so slightly just to get it in the right spot. It's so thin, the paper can have a slight tendency to um, warp out of shape a little bit. Not anything major for sure, and it just takes a little bit of just a tiny bit of maneuvering and it will get into place. I'm just gonna hold this down to dry for a second, make sure it's all, oh, and look how gorgeous. I love the look of this die. This is really pretty, thinking of you sentiment. So now we can adhere this down to the card. I just have to decide to the right, to the left, the center. I think I like it over to the right here. Just like that. 
I think I'll add a few of these super sparkly crystal-like sequins to finish off this note card. There we have our finished note card. It has just the right amount of sparkle and shine, but just being a simple thinking of you note card. No ocean theme necessary. And of course, putting on these little sequins would be much easier if I had one of those gem pickers or something to pick them up. Using your fingers can be a little tricky, but it works out. For our next card, we'll also be making an A2 four and a quarter by five and a half size card. I've got all my parts and pieces cut out here. I cut out from that craft cardstock my layering piece. Then I cut this really cute teal with the pink anchors to go on top of that. I've cut out a pink polka dot to layer at the bottom. So we'll start to adhere these pieces together. And before I adhere our layering pieces down to the card base, I wanna add some of this tan polka dot ribbon but I didn't want to use the polka dots against the polka dot paper. I thought it was just a little too much polka dots. So I'm going to put it on backwards. So I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive here to the back ends of the ribbon. I put it in the front where I want it and I just wrap around those back sticky parts and stick them to the back of the card, just like so. So now we can adhere this layering piece down to our card base. Now what I've done is I stamped this adorable little lighthouse scene and I die cut it with one of our stitch circle dies. And then I layered it on a piece of the teal sparkle sheet cut with the scallop circle die. I layered them together and then I cut a straight cut off the bottom of both of those because I'm gonna line that up right where that ribbon is at the bottom of our card. And you see how that piece just fits perfectly in the center of the card. So we're gonna adhere that down. I suggest using like a liquid glue or, you know, a strong adhesive when you're gluing something to the sparkle sheets. The glitter has some texture to it, of course. So sometimes the tape runner adhesives don't stick as well to that glitter. And they might stick at first, but over time, I think they can kind of come up off the texture of that glitter. So I always just kind of use a, a liquid adhesive on that. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to take another piece of the ribbon and I want to tie a knot onto the ribbon piece that's on the card. So I'm gonna put a dot of glue where I want that knot to sit and that's gonna hold my simple knot in place. And again, I don't want the polka dots to show. So I'm gonna show you how I tie this so that the polka dots are not on the top. So I've, I've got it underneath my ribbon here with the polka dots facing up. 
I'm going to cross them over like that. The top one is going to go underneath and through the hole. Okay, but you see how the polka dots are showing? So I'm going to flip it to where they're both showing the plain ribbon up at the top. And then you just tie one simple knot. I'm not going to tie it twice to make a double knot. Just one simple tie there. And if you press that down into the adhesive, you'll get a nice flattened knot so it won't be too thick for mailing. But then as you see here, I don't have the polka dot showing on the top. We have just the tan. So you can use the polka dotted ribbon and just show the other side if you want. And then we'll just trim the edges. And there we have another really cute card. So this is just a nice note card. You can use it for any occasion. It just has that cute little scene with the lighthouse. And I've colored it with Copic markers. I just took a really light blue and did the sky, put a little bit of that blue in the clouds and just some greens. I used some teal and pink for the lighthouse and just some really simple shading. I didn't put a whole lot of shading into it. You don't always have to do that to get a, a nice look. For our next card, we're going to make a top folding A2 size card. So it's still four and a quarter by five and a half, but it's top folding. It folds up and down. I've got our pieces cut out and ready to go. So I've got this coral color cut out with our scallop rectangle dies. And then I used our stitched rectangle dies to cut the layering piece. Now this is on the lime green cardstock. And I took our stencil that comes in the kit. So our stencil that comes in the kit. And I just brushed with our ergonomic blending brush with um, some teal ink. I just used some teal dye ink. And one note I wanted to make when using a stencil like this is it's it's delicate and these little pieces can move and shift on you a little bit. So when you're blending your ink, go with the grain of the pattern. See how it's a long pattern? So with the blending brush, you'll ink it up. You can tape or if you use a uh, pixie spray, it, it, you won't have this problem, but I didn't use pixie spray when I did it. The pixie spray will hold the whole stencil down really nicely. It's just a spray on adhesive you put on the back of your stencil and it'll hold it down nicely. Um, I just used some tape and tape down the sides. So what I did is I just blend with the grain of the stencil and then those parts and pieces don't move on you. If you go up and down against it, they, they may bow and bend and, and come up just a little bit. But if you go with the grain of the stencil, it works out perfectly, no problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere down our layering pieces on the card base. Okay, for our other pieces, I've stamped in the teal ink, You've Been Occupying My Mind, on a little white strip of cardstock, and I've layered behind it some of the darker teal cardstock. So that's going to go across our card like that. I've die cut a circle with our stitch circle dies, and I'm going to adhere it down to the card, and it's going to go behind the this, this strip that has the sentiment on it. This is gonna be the highlight piece. For our octopus, the highlight piece for our octopus. So we'll place that over it like so. And now we can adhere down our adorable octopus. So 
So when you do something, a card like this with like a critter or, you know, maybe a flower bunch or something, you wouldn't want to just have her, you could, but instead of just having the octopus directly on this pattern background, it, it becomes a little busy and you don't see the octopus as well as if you give a spot to highlight what you're trying to show. So we're highlighting this adorable octopus and we're giving her a place to sit. Like she's anchored to the card in this, you know, partial circle die cut. It just gives an overall appealing look where she is grounded to the card and has something to be sitting on top of. And I did, I did fussy cut out with scissors, the octopus. It wasn't too terribly bad. And there you go. I think she looks adorable on this card. I think we'll add a couple of the enamel shapes just to finish off with some embellishment. And there's our card. For our last card, we're gonna do another slimline card, eight and a half by three and a half card base. And I've gone ahead and pre-cut all of our parts and pieces that we'll use. So this time I'm using this um, really pretty wave paper that's in the pattern paper pack and some of the plaid. So we get a look like that. And when, when you're doing pattern papers and you're putting two together, you want to do it, the eye likes two thirds, it likes odd numbers. So if you'll notice this card, if it were split in thirds, I've got two thirds that is the wave and one third that's the plaid. And your eye just likes things split in odd numbers like that. So let's adhere these down. So before I adhere the plaid piece down, I want to attach a piece of ribbon along the border of it. Because I also like when I'm attaching two different pattern papers together, I like to create a border in between just to kind of break up this. It just looks like an unfinished edge to me. The patterns just kind of meet up. So I like to finish it off either with a strip of glitter tape or even just a plain strip of cardstock. But this time I'm gonna use this really pretty coral polka dot ribbon. So I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back of the ribbon just at the edges. Adhere it to the back, wrap it around here, adhere it to the back, and now we can attach this to our card base. So this time I've stamped the sentiment in teal again, and I've used the sentiment. Sometimes all you need is a good dose of vitamin C, and I'm gonna adhere this down to the bottom of the card. And out of the pretty coral paper, I've cut it with a scallop circle die. And with the stitch circle die, I cut my little lighthouse sa sailboat scene that I colored that will fit right inside of there. Like so. And then I'm going to adhere this down to the card. And you could always use um, dimensional foam tape or pop dots and lift that off the card a little bit to give it some dimension. But I'm just gonna adhere it straight down this time. So 
And I'm just gonna place that up towards the top like so. And when this, with this last piece of this pretty peach coral ribbon, we're gonna tie another knot. This time I want the polka dots to show. So once again, I'm gonna add a dot of adhesive, which is just optional, but I think it helps hold the knot in place where I'd like it. So we cross it over, the top one goes underneath, and you kind of twist it as you pull it out so that those polka dots are showing at the top. Tighten it up a bit, and then just press it down into that adhesive. I love using ribbon on cards, and this is my this is actually my favorite way to use it, is just to have it wrapped around the card and then create that look that it's tied on there with a knot. I just think it adds just a really nice, soft texture to the card, but something you can see and feel. I just like the added look that it gives. So here is our last card, another really cool slimline card. So I, I showed you our last card that we were gonna make, but I had to show you this panel, the card panel that I made. I'm not gonna make a full card out of it, but I wanted to show you how you can take elements from the kit and use it with other stamps and dies that you already own. So I've taken uh, the dark teal card stock that came in the kit, I've taken the stencil, I laid it down, and I used some Glitz Glitter Gel. And this is the neon green one. And I thought it gave such a gorgeous look on that teal paper. It is so sparkly and shiny and just looks really pretty. And I thought, well, you know, I have these stamps. Doesn't everyone have like a bowl of, of stamps that you've colored, die cut, and you're just not quite ready to use them, or maybe they're extras from a project you were working on. So I had a couple of turtles in my little bowl of extras, and I thought they would look perfect on this wavy, glittery background. So this is our Turtly Amazing stamp and die set, and they are the cutest little sea turtles in this set. And I think they go great with elements of this kit, this wavy stencil that we've got. And all I have to do is add these down, add the sentiment. I've got it stamped out here. I'll ride any wave with you. And you have another card. So I just wanted to show you how to use elements from the, the kits and use them further with other stamps and dies that you already own. So I hope you've enjoyed this video where we have made five cards with our June 2020 Crafty Courtyard Kit. Until next time, my friends, keep living the creative life. Pink and Main's Big Boss Echo really wants you to enjoy your Crafty Courtyard Kit. He says, stay crafty, friends. <laughs>